How's it going, guys? Uh, I've had some questions about side loading apps uh, onto the OUYA, so I figured I'd just give you a quick, a quick version on how to do that. At least the way I've been doing it. There's quite a few ways and quite a few different like apps and programs you can use to do that. So I'm just going to show you the way that I've been doing it. Uh, so let's get started. First things first, I've been using my phone. I have an HTC Vivid. It's pretty good. So there's the phone there. Um, so the first thing you want to do is find the app you want. Um, you're going to need a, a um, application manager, what do you call it, like a file browser, like a file explorer. So there is a program called File Expert. It's free. Um, that's the one I've been using. I don't know how you'll be able to see this, but that's the one I've been using right there, File Expert. So um, File Expert has a cool feature where you can look at, see the apps you have installed and uh, everything, and you can actually back them up. So if it's something you've purchased from the Android store, you can just go to Apps, and I load that up, and then um, you just pick the one you want. Like I said, you'll want to use this program on the on the OUYA itself. There's this one, it's called File Explorer, and then there's another one called um, ES File Explorer. ES File Explorer, I've noticed, works a little bit better on the OUYA and has some other features that I like really well. So that's the one I want to back up. Using File Explorer, or File Browser, whatever the hell this one's called, you want to back up ES File Explorer. So you'll hold it. And then you'll click on um, backup. Oh, crap. Don't do that. Don't do what I do. Um, yeah, so you'll want to click on ES File Explorer and then click backup. It'll say no handling, blah, 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 doing its thing. And so it'll back it up to um, a specific folder. If you click on the folder, you can go into your thing there. It's under um, backup underscore apps. So then if I go down, there we go, ES File Explorer uh, APK. So then you can do that, and then you click on Send Files. Um, so then you'll click Share. And at this point, you'll want to somehow, and this is totally up to you, get that file to your OUYA. I use Google Drive. I actually pay the monthly thing. It's like five bucks a month for a hefty amount of storage. So I use Google Drive or Dropbox. I mean, they both have free options as well. Um, so then you'll want to do one of those uh, and then send that APK over to yourself on the uh, on your Google Drive or your whatever, whatever you're using, your cloud service. That's the easiest way, at least for this first one. So then you'll do that. Now I don't need to because I've already done that one. So then you'll head over to your OUYA, right? Sure, my controller's out here. All right, so we'll head over to the OUYA, and then on your system, if you have a out-of-the-box brand new system, you go to Software under the Make option, and you'll click on Browser. That's your web browser. Um, so then, depending on what service you use, to be it your Google Drive or your uh, your uh, my God, the other thing with the with the files in the cloud, the floating. You know the cloud thing, <laughs> Dropbox. <laughs> uh, you'll just log into that through the web browser. Um, they both have like web website versions, and then you'll just download that, and it'll actually say, you know, downloading blah blah blah. And then you'll go to once you've downloaded it, you click on Manage System Advanced, and then you'll go down to. Uh, Let's see. I think it's under storage. Yeah, you'll go to storage and then click on downloads. And then the thing you downloaded will be in there. So then you'll just click it. If it's an APK, it'll pop up and say, hey, I want to install, so let's do it. So then, you know, you give that thing permission. Um, like, so here's the ES File Explorer that I did from, from way back when. So I'll hit X, well, not X, sorry, I'm used to. All my references are PlayStation references. I played PlayStation for so long. So then it's asking me to replace because I've obviously I've already got it uh, installed. So uh, you'll want to just let it install, and then it'll it'll pop up at the bottom. It'll say close or open run program. So then you'll want to run it at that point. So then once you run that, uh, or if you whatever if you exit, it'll be under make. 
software and it'll be right there and that's your little icon um, so you'll go into that and it's just like a computer because it is kind of a computer um, so then at that point um, this is how you can access the stuff if you plug in a USB stick you can access it that way though there's some funky issues with that at this point hopefully they fix that um, so this thing really helps and another thing that this one does really well I like very much is that it has the ability to send files um, over over uh, like a LAN just wirelessly so if I'm on my phone let me grab that um, I can I can pop into there and if I want to send let's see I really hope this shows up um, if I want to send myself another another APK that I backed up, another game or anything, a music file or a picture or whatever. Um, let me just see. Backup apps, I'll go into some of the ones I've shown. Dead Trigger, Max Payne, uh, I got Netflix in there, Steam. So um, you just pick one. Uh, I had a request to do a Amiga emulator, so I'll just use that as an example. You'll click that, you'll click more, and you'll click send. This is using the same one I'm using on the yeah, the ES File Explorer, and it'll st it'll scan. And then if you go over here and click on um, using your touchpad on your UEI controller, if you click on LAN, maybe, or if you use the if you use Dropbox, you can stick stuff in there too. If you you can sync up with your cloud, you can sync up your accounts so your Google Drive or your Dropbox or whatever. Um, so then you'll click on LAN, and then that's my computer, which you can do that if you want to. I haven't had a lot of luck with that. So then you'll click on the little magnifying glass for search, and it'll scan, and then click, let's see, I click retry down here. Now Uga pops up. So you just uh, get out of that. I want to select this guy here click send and then it'll pop up on here mm, this guy wants to send this to you do you want it tell it yeah so then you'll tell it where you want it to download to you just like a computer and uh, so I'll put it in my downloads just so I remember since I can't remember anything uh, and then it'll just send over my local connection boom so then it's just send it that way. So that's a really quick way to send them. You can use your cloud storage to send files to yourself, but that takes a long time. Like I, I did that to, to put Max Payne on here when I did the Max Payne video, and it just it took a whole day. <laughs> it just took forever um, because it has to upload, and then you got to re-download. So, uh, so say you do an APK, you can automatically just open it from there, and it'll, it'll give you this, and uh, you'll just click install, depending on what you're doing. Um, and in my case, I have used up all my space, so uh, I have to delete some stuff. But uh, I don't know, maybe I'll do another video on how to do that. Um, and then, yeah, so that's that's the simplest way. That's the way I do it. There are plenty of other ways, um, and and there may be easier ways. Maybe I'm just making it difficult on myself. But uh, that's the way I found that has been the best. So you know, um, if you guys have any suggestions or comments or anything else you want to see, let me know. But uh, till then, thanks for watching.